Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, we're into the next chapter, the, the penultimate chapter of the series. Uh, so it, it carries on virtually directly from Retake Seed Palace. Get to your ships. We liberated the pilots, the pilots jump in the fighters. Anakin hides in that one and I, I like this bit because yeah, it did you do kind of question it in the movie is well what happens to the pile that that doesn't get that ship we'll handle this we'll take the long way there's a little bit of a tantrum uh, there an appearance of Darth Maul so this is the best this whole last bit actually, the battle with Darth Maul and then the Starfighter battle um, is the best part of the film. So we're going to use Qui-Gon again for this bit, for this mission. Um, I could use Obi-Wan because he's the one that actually finishes off Maul, but we'll stick with Qui-Gon. He does put up a good fight and I do I do like the character. I think he's underrated. Um And I, I do wish he could have had a bit more screen time. But he was there as a he was a means to an end just to get Anakin and Obi-Wan together. To tell that story. And we did see a little bit more of Qui Gon in the Tales of the Jedi show um, under the tutelage of Dooku. I would like to see like a, a Qui Gon Jin um, prequel series that just shows him in his. Sort of in his early years at the Jedi Temple into the Jedi Master he becomes um, well, the Jedi Master that we see in, in episode 1 so a lot of this well, like, like, like pretty much every other um, level. In this series, uh, just taking down battle droids as we chase Maul through the, the generator area of Seed Palace. Um, this level hasn't much changed in the games that it's featured in. It was featured in the Phantom Menace video game. Um, and again, the layout, has, obviously the layout has to stay the same. That's the design. But it was a lot of jumping around and there's a droid band um, that sort of makes it look like it's playing to do all of the fates, which is pretty cool. Um, so onto the lift, wait for Obi Wan, and then we're going to ascend to the next platform and take down another bunch of droids. Um, but yeah, this level pretty much stayed the same in the Phantom Menace video game. You played as Obi Wan, and you got separated from Qui Gon and had to find a way back up. So there's a lot of jumping platforms and things. Um, and with the complete saga, um, again, it was virtually the same. It was just taking down battle droids whilst pursuing. Darth Maul, um, but that was all from a sort of a, it was almost like a side-scrolling um, level that one in parts, 
Um, where is this? It's all. From this sort of perspective, so there's this bit where you have to swap between Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon. Just because Maul is just trying to attack us from the front. So you have to kind of attack him from behind. Uh, that then cuts away to this section where all you have to do is jump on these uh, whoops missed that one there's the, the droid orchestra again you have to jump on these posts um, and just jump across the gap don't touch the floor and then more droids just getting up there like what what's happening so Maul then destroys half the bridge and then jumps up above us so I'm gonna go not that way and um, that's a bigger jump than I thought it was uh, or you can use these crates to create a path don't need that to create a path across the electrified floor but Darth Maul is still above so we are going to go this way because there's a a bridge across And then we're gonna put the the cell into the motor and ascend again. So I'm gonna take down the snipers. And then the battle with Maul resumes. I love the little sort of button mashing mini games. Dodge. Again, jump out of the way and he's gonna run down that eight way he's gonna run all the way down the pot the uh, the end of the corridor in a minute he'll get his health down again now we go across sabers overpower give him a kick and then he's gonna run off So now into this little corridor with the plasma doors, the, the plasma barriers. One or two of them we can just walk straight through when they open. And then there's this one here that we need to fix, we need to put the cells back in place. Another walk through this one. Same with the next one. A little bit one behind us. Same with the next one. And then for this one. We've got to replace four. All four of the cells.
um, with the blue one we have to put it into this hole, th this um, socket that then releases the green cell so we can put the green cell in place and then we take the blue cell back from that socket and place it back into its own socket that then opens the door and drops the barrier and into the final final battle with Maul and again a lot of button mashing and ducking, dodging and almost dodge it away again and the last sort of the last lightsaber lock before it kicks off the it triggers the, the, the last cutscene Maul kills Qui-Gon and this plays out a little bit different than it does in the film because Obi-Wan uses Qui-Gon as a lightsaber to kill Maul after Maul tries to kill Obi-Wan so it plays out a little bit different and Amidala has reached the throne room and Newt Gunray is captured. But I like this little bit. It's, there's like three or four different versions of Padme. Oh no, it was just that one. It's a different uh, level where there's like three or four different versions where I'll pop up. It's where to go see the Gungans. And Anakin then takes off in the Starfighter. So that's the end of this chapter, uh, and I will see you in the the next one, the final chapter, and the battle above Naboo.